Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have an ink video for you and it is one of my favorite inks and I'm gonna really quickly talk about it and just be happy I ruined my fingers for you because I cannot wash this off until I wash my hair. All right, let's switch a shot. All right, an ink video about an ink that I love because it is so good in so many pens and it is Dymine Writer's Blood and it is one of the fountain pen Reddit inks um and it's just an ink that i really love it is so good for so many different type of problematic pens we have a couple of pens in our collection that actually need nib work and we haven't gotten to it um we have a double broad mont blanc for example that has baby's bottom and if i use this ink it is great like it writes almost perfectly i wouldn't say it's a miracle worker but it's definitely close to Miracle Worker and it's because it's I would say it's really wet and and the lubrication is just right now not all diamine inks are this wet um, this is definitely an like an exception um, I would say they're generally quite median and there's a bunch of quite dry ones that are really saturated um, for example a color that is quite close to this although it's a little brighter, is Communication Breakdown. And Communication Breakdown is just really problematic because it's super saturated, it sheens, but it just doesn't work in pens very well. And Writer's Blood is the actual opposite. I haven't done an ink review in a long time, and I'm gonna do my best to show you the ink, the properties, the differences on papers, um, and I'll do some writing with different nibs. Now, I don't have the full range of Lamy nibs, but I'm gonna give you like the most common sizes fine medium broad and then I also grabbed a kanji nib um, But I wonder if that's Interesting at all. So we'll see if we get to that. Also, this is gonna be a really messy messy video But that's fine Okay, I have two different types of paper. I have Tomoe River this is 68 GSM and then I have Leuchtturm paper you can already see they are a little different on these papers. I would say this looks darker because um, Leuchtturm is just more, um, I was gonna say observing, but absorbing is the right word that I'm looking for. So it just soaks up more of the ink and then um, it looks darker, probably because there is more ink on the page. Um, I have another ink review planned, as you can see. Um, it is quite, uh, heavily laid on here, so it does actually bleed. Um, if you do normal writing, it won't bleed. Um, but yeah. On the Tomoe River, there is a lighter color, I would say, and I'm trying to see if there's any sheen. There's like on the very, very heavy droplets, there is some sheen, but in normal writing, you will not see it, and it's also impossible to like capture right now. Now, um, shading, I will try to uh, show you that in the writing sample I'm gonna do because um, there are like different tones this is of course a very wet situation in here it's just a lighter application so there is a possibility of uh, shading but I'm gonna show you that in the writing sample I'm trying to see if you can see any of the sheen but I don't think so Tomoe River also uh, shows some bleeding it's just because I put it on super heavily and this is really really thin paper um, but yeah, all in all, as a writer, really good. As you can see, super, super wet. Like it soaks through paper. I would say these two are quite comparable because I think this ink is also very wet. Um, more on that ink later. But yeah, this is writer's blood in its bare form. Now I'm gonna do the writing samples. I'm gonna try and do them at the same time on both papers. And um, I'm gonna keep zoomed out first and then zoom in. Um, and then I'll probably speed this up a little bit because this is not the most interesting part. All right, here we go. All right, here we are with a black medium nib and also I ruined my nail trying to pull it off. It was really, really tight. Don't know why, but it was just really, really tight. But here we go, Lamy. All star. All 
All right, I had to prime a little bit because of course I'm pulling off the nib and the ink is not on the nib at that point. The Lamy Broad is one of my favorite um, All Stars Safari nibs. Um, it is a true broad experience in my opinion and I love writing with that. Um, I am actually using one in my journal right now and I have um, the pen inked up with a shimmer ink because it works so well. Um, and I'm, I keep calling this an all-star but it's actually one of the Alexas but it's basically an all-star. Okay those are the writing samples. Let's look at them together and then afterward um, we can do some smudgy tests to see how fast the ink dried. Um, I'll probably do that with a medium nib because that is like an average, average nib. All right, let's start with some Tomoe River. Now, as you can see, it's not a really intense shader. There is some shading. You can especially see that on the X's, I would say the broad doesn't really shade. It's way too wet, it's way too broad to shade. But the other, the fine and the medium, do shade, and I would say the medium shades most. Now, of course, there is some di discrepancy between nib sizes with uh, Lamy. That is not unknown, but there is definite, definitely shading potential. Now, I love sheeny inks and not necessarily shading inks. I would say this is a very low sheening candidate. It's just not saturated enough. Um, you, like you might catch some sheen sometime, especially if you have it sitting in a pen for a very long time. But this is Tomoe River. If it sheens on anything, it would sheen on Tomoe River and it doesn't really do that. Unless you put a lot of ink on a Q-tip and dab it on the paper. But yeah, shading, definitely there. Um, and it's lovely. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a shader, shading. Yes. Um, don't use this broad nib. This broad nib is much too wet, I guess. Um, even though like at the edges there is still like a tiny bit sheen. Nah. And I would say wetness. We'll do the wetness test in a second. Um, but flow is great. It's just amazing. Okay, flow is great. Now let's look at the Leuchtturm paper, which is not as ink resistant, um, but still I like it a lot. As you can see, there is shading here too. Um, it's best seen on the X's and again on the heavy, heavy broad nib, it is not very apparent. So it's mostly just the medium fines. Um, but of course your mileage may vary. If you have a drier broad nib, um, you would definitely be able to get some of that shading out. But yeah, it has a very good potential shading, which is nice. The color is like a burgundy red. It leans a little brown. It's not a true red, um, but it is definitely a good autumn color. Now, I'm not a big fan of red ink, uh, brown inks, so I love that this leans uh, red, and I don't think I could use it if, if it was any browner. It's just not my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna prepare for the um, wetness test. I'm gonna do the medium nib for that. Um, that means I have to pull this off again. Now, I didn't show you me pulling off the nib because I've been using my teeth, which is gross. Um, but they've been so tight on this feed that I <laughs> I had no alternative. But anyway, I'll be right back. Enjoy that gross story. All right, I am back with a medium nib. It's funny because when my dad watches my videos, he always says, you have something on your fingers in your video. And then it is always ink. And now it's very obviously ink. And I have no idea how I'm going to get this off. But we shall see. Okay. I am going to do a bunch of this and then... One, two, three, four, five. Five seconds. I think this is a very dry Lamy nib. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So after five seconds, not dry. Okay. Ten seconds, not dry. And I'm definitely going to speed this up now. I'll see you when it's dry.
So I'm at 25 seconds now. As you can see, there's tiny bit, tiny bit of wipeage. So I'm gonna do one more time at 30 and I think we'll be there. Okay. Um, I guess it just laid on thicker. I would say it's around the 30 to 35 mark. Now, I'm gonna do this on Tomoe, and Tomoe is less absorbent, so I'm just gonna start at like the 30 second mark, or the, let's start at the 25 second mark and see how it does. Of course, speeding it up. Definitely wetter. I'm gonna straight up jump to the 40 second mark and see how it goes. Um, but as you can see, it's not a real quick dryer. All right, let me zoom in on the 60 seconds. As you can see, it is almost dry. Um, safe to say, not a fast drying ink. Also, probably the reason why it is so lovely and wet, it is a delight. Um, and yeah, it is a good ink for a pen that is dry and that you want to have a more wet experience. This is what you should go for. Now, if you don't like reds, the I have a review of a blue coming up, and um, that might be more your style. It's a J. Herbin ink. Uh, but yeah, this is the Diamine overview of Writer's Blood, favorite ink of mine. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this was so far informative, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Look at those fingers. Yeah.